This is Steve Sharp with Signature Entertainment and we're going to show you today how to put rack ears on the Hercules RMX2 uh, DJ controller. Now the good news is you can put rack ears on the RMX2 controller even though you're not technically supposed to be able to I'm going to show you how it's done. And this one is my backup system which has the Hercules DJ Force Set controller in it. We're going to take this one out and oh yes by the way the rack ears were made for the original RMX but they do work on the Force Set. I'm going to take that one out and get myself together with the RMX2 in its place. And here's the RMX2 that we're going to be modifying and putting the rack kit onto. And over here is our rack kit. It does not come with any of our controllers. It is an optional piece. So you purchase the kit. And so essentially, attached to two pieces of foam on the inside here are the metal rack ears. And we've run into what will be the major problem in this project. This screw right here is supposed to go into the side of the unit and hold the rack ears on. As you can see, it falls right in because it's not the right size. The holes in the RMX2 are of a larger size. They are the M4, metric 4, 0.70 times 8. And I got a small bag of those. Our screws fit into the side of the unit. I've now marked with white grease pen where the screws need to go. But as you can see, it won't make it through this hole. The hole is too small for the screw that's got to go through there. So you take and you drill out the holes, then you can screw it in. We tighten them by hand on both sides. Then we tighten them with the screwdriver, and here's what you got. And then you screw it back into your rack, or into your rack as case may be, fire up your software, and you're ready to rock. Ha 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 